Now available in paperback and e-readers, E-Steam, Little Girl Lost. The devilish diva helps a lost little girl find her way home in this devilishly funny E-Steam series adventure. Get E-Steam, Little Girl Lost in paperback and e-readers today. Yesterday I posted a Facebook status saying how happy I was that this Chandra Rhymes minstrel show known as Scandal is finally in its final season and will soon be off the air. And one of these Afro-American Negro females took offense to that and came into my status looking to argue with me. And they said things like, it's just a TV show and you don't have to watch it. And then they went on their way to try to defend that dysfunctional female, Chandra Rhymes. And as I listened to the post that this female made, and I looked at these posts that this female made, it made me realize how low African-American Negro women has fallen and how low the moral position of this Afro-American Negro female has fallen over the last 31 years. Because 31 years ago, the movie studios decided to come out with a movie called Angel Heart. And this Angel Heart movie featured Lisa Bonet of The Cosby Show in a graphic sex scene with Mickey Rourke. And when black women of 1986 found out about this movie, Angel Heart, they took to the streets to protest this film because they said that this film was degrading their image. And because they valued their image, they did not want to support this film, and they made efforts to try to boycott this film once it was released. And when Angel Heart was finally released, it became a box office failure, part due to this black woman saying that she was not going to allow herself to be degraded and allow her image to be degraded in this way like she was in this film featuring Lisa Bonet. They took deep offense to Lisa Bonet participating in that sex scene, and they took more offense to the producers of this film exploiting Lisa Bonet in the way that they did with this Angel Heart film. Fast forward 31 years later, and you see how deeply troubling this is. Instead of black women fighting to protect their image like they did with Angel Heart, we have black women these days defending a television show like Scandal, which degrades their image and presents them in a negative light. And as I debated with this female and tried to debate with this female, I saw how low the self-esteem of this Afro-American Negro female was in defending this show. These females will sit there and tell you, oh, Olivia Pope has all of this power. She's the most powerful woman in America. Well, I have to disagree with that position because when I look at a female who is willing to compromise her intangibles of womanhood, she has absolutely no power because I look at that old African proverb which says a race can rise no higher than the moral position of its women. And when you look at this Olivia Pope, she has no moral position. She has fallen and she cannot rise because she has no moral position. When a female will do things like have an affair with the President of the United States, that shows you how low her moral position is and how it degrades this black female. Unfortunately, over the last 15 or 16 years since Halle Berry won that Oscar for Monsters Ball, we have seen black women take their image and drop it into the gutter and then take their moral position and drop it further into the gutter. And they'll sit there and justify and defend their position to be at the bottom of the world. And that's really sad when you think about it, because when I think about those women in 1986 who were the mothers of these women of today, they had at least the dignity and self-respect to say they would stand up and say, look, you're not going to degrade my image like this. And now we have the daughters and the granddaughters saying, I want to be degraded. I want to be disrespected, and I don't feel good about myself unless I degrade my own image. That shows us how far the black woman has fallen in terms of her morality and her core values. Because when it comes down to this female, she will sit there and defend a show like Scandal, which basically is a black woman slapping another black woman in the face, telling her that you have to lower your worth in order to get involved with this white man who you want to deify, that's showing us how low your moral position is. Because if you had real power 
the power would come from within because Again, a race can rise no higher than the moral position of its women. If the woman has no moral position, then how can she rise to do anything? That powerful position she has basically was given to her by a white man, and it can be taken away by that same white man. But the moral position that you have, the core values that are inside of you, those cannot be taken away from you. And this is something that most of these Afro-American Negro women don't seem to understand about the show scandal and how it lowers their value as women. What the messenger Chandra Rhimes is sending is that you're, as a black woman, in order for you to have success, you have to make a compromise to your moral position and you have to lower your value in order to be considered powerful in America. That's telling the world that you need to be degraded and what's really disturbing about it is that you celebrate being degraded and you celebrate making moral compromises. Now, a couple of years ago, I published a book called The Temptation of John Haynes. And in that book, I have this character, Esteem, a black female she-demon, who is told by Lucifer that if she sleeps with this John Haynes, he will make her a lady and give her the second most powerful position in hell. And this e and Esteem goes along with this plan until she starts to realize what this plan was going to cost her. And as the story goes along, she starts to realize that she's starting to lose things that are important to her intangibles of womanhood and important to her character. And Lucifer takes away things like the dress that she liked to wear. He destroys that and takes away one part one of her um, of her dignity. And then he starts taking away things like related to her values and her character. And as this Eastium character begins to fall, she starts to realize that in just trying to destroy this man, that she's slowly destroying herself. And as I wrote that story, I began to understand how dysfunctional today's modern-day African-American woman is because she will be willing to compromise her intangible. She's willing to betray the beliefs that are the essence of herself, and she will throw those away just so she can win the approval of a white man that she deifies. And when I wrote The Temptation of John Haynes, the East Team character, the She-Demon, finally realizes what she's about to lose in terms of her morality and what she's, what she's about to compromise, and she stops at a certain point. Unfortunately, when it comes down to this Afro-American Negro female, she has not hit the rock bottom that the East Team character had in The Temptation of John Haynes. When it came down to the end of the line and it came down to East Team compromising her, the last vestiges of her humanity and betraying her own moral positions, she finally realized what she was going to lose, and she finally stopped herself. Unfortunately, this Afro-American Negro female doesn't have the moral position of a she-demon. And that's what's really scary to me when I think about today's modern-day Afro-American Negro female. She has a lower moral position than a she-demon, and that she's willing to compromise everything just to get the attention and the approval of this white man that she deifies and be considered respectable by this white man she deifies. And the great irony of that is, is that she's looking for his respect by degrading herself. And everything that she is doing to degrade herself and devalue herself shows him that she should no one he should respect or regard. Now, when it comes down to these females, they'll sit there and say that Olivia Pope is some sort of success. And, again, I beg to differ when it comes down to people telling me Olivia Pope is a success. Olivia Pope is not a success. She's not a role model. She is a female who has fallen and does not know how far she has fallen because she has turned off her conscience and has no moral compass, and she doesn't see that when she hits rock bottom, she's going to hit hard, and she's going to hit harder than Esteem, the she-demon, because at least Esteem realized, hey, I'm falling, even though I'm a fallen person, there's still a chance at me getting salvation by doing what is right and atoning for what I've done, and in realizing that I admit what I've done is wrong. But this Olivia Pope believes everything she is doing is right, and at the end of the day, she doesn't know where she is going, she doesn't know how far she is falling, and this is a female 
who doesn't see the final end for her, which is that lake of fire. And that's, where, that's what's really scary about this female and the p females who go out of their way to support them. Because these females don't see where they're going. They're so caught up in the power that Olivia Pope has, they don't realize what intangibles they have sacrificed to get that power, and they don't realize what more morality they have compromised to achieve what they have. When I look at Chandra Rhimes' scandal, I look at a program that degrades black women, disrespects black women, and sadly we have so many black women who hate themselves, they go out of their way to praise this show, and they get upset at the whole idea of this show being end ending and leaving ABC schedule. And they're, they're sitting there so upset that scandal is going away, and it shows us how low their moral position is, how little respect they have for themselves, because any self-respecting black female who loved herself would be praising the end of this show and be glad that it's gone. And they would look at this and say, this is a happy day for us because we don't have a program on the air that degrades our image, disrespects us, and then presents us as the worst person in the world. Because the real power a woman has, like I presented in The Temptation of John Haynes with the Eastian character, is the power over themselves and the free will that God has given them to make choices. And when you have the power over yourself and you take that free will that God has given you, what you will do is make a choice that allows you to, that, to maintain your dignity and your self-respect. Unfortunately, most black women have not come to that position where they can say, my intangibles are worth more than whatever this white man has to offer on this job or whatever this white man is trying to get me to do, that I have some sort of value and some sort of worth to myself. And this is something your black woman doesn't understand. This is why the world does not respect her, and this is why no one wants anything to do with her, because she has no moral position. And to trust her would mean that you would get eventually get stabbed in the back, because she does not trust herself, she does not love herself, she does not believe in herself, and that's why most men want nothing to do with her outside of these beta males who just use her as from get a way to get from point A to point B. And when I listened to this female defending scandal, that was one of the most disturbing things I have ever seen in my life. To get to the point where you're getting vehement about defending scandal, defending Chandra Rhimes, and saying, oh, she's got the first black woman to ever get an entire night of TV shows on the air. Like, that's some sort of accomplishment. But look at the type of show she puts on the air featuring you, black woman. The shows that she puts on the air degrade your image, disrespect you as a woman, and present you on the world stage in the worst light. Yes, you have an entire night of shows, but they compromise your moral position and they degrade you to the world and send a message to the world that you don't need to be respected, you don't need to be valued, and you don't need to be shown in a balanced and humanized light. But all you're celebrating is the success of having shows, but I look at the content of those shows, and they tell me something very negative about the content of the character of today's modern-day black woman. And the fact that black women celebrate them, again, tells me that the content of their character shows me that their character is very, very sad to see. I mean, when it comes down to their character, they have no character because they have no moral position. And that's why the direction of the race continues to decline instead of rise. Because when it comes down to the moral position of today's black woman, they have no moral position. And that's why the race is at the bottom of the world. If you want to try out The Temptation of John Haynes, you may do so by clicking the link to the Amazon.com in the description box, and you'll be able to purchase the book when you click the link. And if you want to help me make more videos, you may donate to my Patreon by clicking to the link to the, in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.